Ford positive. Here comes Marner. Fire and scores! It's 47 seconds in! Hello everyone and welcome back to Job NHL Vlogs and in today's video is the post game reaction reveal from the Leafs game we went to back on November 30th, 2023 against the Seattle Kraken. But before we get to this one, I want you guys to please leave a like on the video, subscribe for new, hit the notification to your comments down below if you guys have any thoughts this game went to, if you guys are at this game, any thoughts and feelings you guys had in general on this post game reaction reveal, feel free to leave a comment section below, I'd like to hear you guys on there. Alright guys, let's just jump right to it. So first of all guys, I'm going to get into my overall thoughts and feelings. On this game went to so let's begin with that first so overall you know really good thursday night hockey you know on thursday night you know i really like going on thursday nights you know actually i kind of like them more than friday nights i know friday nights i know really good too but obviously you guys know already that i've been having a slump on friday nights well not really anymore i just broke it with the calgary flames game in, in toronto i mean like not in, like not in general because i got a 4-1 win in carolina too but you know overall i mean really good you know good going on thursday night you know thursday night hockey Least risk cracking on TSN. Yes, I was right, by the way. The game was on TSN. But, yeah, you know, it was a pretty good one, you know. You know, seeing the Kraken for the very first time as well. So, I mean, it looked really cool. The road jerseys looked pretty cool. I liked them. And it was kind of weird, like, when the warm-up. So, I first, like, when I officially first saw them for the very first time. I don't know why the announcers were still talking. Because normally they had the music and everything. Yeah, that was kind of weird, actually. I don't know. I don't know why they were talking for so long. They probably just had a lot to say. But... Apparently, actually, one of the in arena hosts. Actually, I've never seen the Kraken either. But like, they already came two times. I'm like, how did you not see them before? I guess I don't know. It's kind of weird how they didn't see that, right? Like, I literally heard that. Like, if you guys were there, you probably wouldn't known too. But, uh, but yeah, you know, overall, I mean, Thursday night, you know, really good. I mean, honestly, good matchup. Um, you know, I mean, I don't really mind the Kraken either. So it wasn't like a rivalry game, but you know. It was pretty good, you know, seeing the Leafs, my fourth Leafs game of the year, seeing the Kraken for the very first time, you know, it was pretty good, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it was a pretty good night to go, you know, it was it was pretty good overall, you know, kind of, I really liked the matchup already, you know, the matchup was pretty good, also Mr. Blue Geno, gotta give a mention to you right now, a shout out to you as well, um, yeah, he likes to crack it, obviously, he has the Kraken hat, as you guys already know, but, yeah, I mean, that was tough, I mean, I was thinking about that Mr. Blue Geno a little bit, but not really, I kind of did forget about it a little bit during the game, but yeah, I, I still knew that you wore that hat last time I saw you, but, but I mean, it's okay. I mean, Noah's, I mean, the Kraken are like in Noah's top five teams, I think as well, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, you know, I mean, it's a good matchup for him too, right? You know, let's just look at it that way. I mean, he didn't really care who won. Like when I asked him, like he said he didn't really care who wins, so yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess he was kind of going for both teams, I guess, if we're, we're going to put it that way. It's not like what completely gets the Leafs, so I can't really that. I can't really blame him that much, to be honest, because, I mean, Leafs obviously been having an iffy year, only five regulation wins still, unfortunately. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, let's just hope we can figure this out at some point. But, anyways, but, yeah, you know, overall, Thursday night, really good night to go. And also, another thing I noticed, guys, it was called Classic Night again. Yes, it was Classic Night. Which is weird, actually, because Seattle Kraken, first of all, they're the newest team in the NHL, which literally makes no sense at all. And literally, they were only supposed to do Classic Night versus the original six teams. So that would be the Red Wings, the Habs, the Blackhawks, the Rangers, and uh, the Bruins. Yeah, the Bruins. We literally just played the Bruins. This was actually just this is actually being filmed just after the Bruins went as well, not too long after that as well. That was a close game, though. That was a close one. And yeah... And as you guys know already, they played Panama in the game. Yes, they played Panama by Van Halen. I mean, you know what? I was, like, kind of iffy when I first went to the game versus Chicago about that goal song. I was, like, you know, I didn't really understand it. But, I, I mean, I had better listen at it, you know, for sure. I listened to it three times in this one. But, you know, it was – it's actually a really good song. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know Mr. Blue Jay Noah might disagree with me on this. But, you know what? It's actually not too bad, you know, and the other song, obviously, it's from Colorado, it's like, I don't know, it's weird why they would literally copy them, it's like the same thing, but speed it up, right, for the right, for the main song, I wouldn't even call that the main song, I think, in my opinion, guys, the Leafs should just stick with Panama, honestly, like, every game, like, it does, don't even call it class night, literally, just make it your main song, and that's it, I think, honestly, it's been the best song so far, like, it's actually, you know, it's not too much older than Hall & Oates as well. It's only, like, a couple years after Hall & Oates in 1984. So, I mean, you know, it's an 80s song, 80s rock song. But, 
You know what? It's not bad. Even my dad likes it too. He, I know my dad hated Hall Notes too. But hey, you know, my dad even likes this Panama Sun. So, I mean, you know what? If my dad likes it, you know what? I can kind of go along with it too, you know? It's actually really good. I'm not going to lie. The beginning part's good. I like the Panama. Like, the fans can almost chant to that, which is really nice. And you know what? In my opinion, guys, they should just keep that as the main song. I, I, you know, for some people, they might disagree with me on that. But in my opinion, I think they should just keep it for the rest of the season as their main song. And I don't know. I don't even know when they're doing next-gen games yet. I know, guys. I, I mean, did they even announce next-gen games? I mean, I don't even think they did. Because I think they were supposed to do... I think they're supposed to do a, a song for that as well, which I'm going to assume is Justin Bieber since he did make the jerseys. But, yeah, I'm assuming. But, yeah, I'm kind of getting off topic with the Seattle game. But, you know, it was kind of weird to do Classic Night, but I did actually figure it out after. It's kind of – it's like Throwback Thursday because I went on Thursday night, right? So, yeah, it's like – throw. I guess it's Throwback Thursday, so they're going to do Classic Nights for those games as well on Thursday night. So, hey, that's not a bad idea. Then you can hear Panama at least quite a bit of times, actually. So, you know, at least good strategy, but I think at this point, they might as well just keep it as the main song. Like, honestly, if the other song's from another team, it doesn't make sense, right? It, it just doesn't, in my opinion. You might as well just keep that as the main song at this point. I mean, I like it a lot. It's something that's more unique to the Leafs, and I, I mean, it's simple, right? It's simple. It gets me, it kind of does get me hyped a little bit. And I'm sorry to say that, Mr. Blitch, and I know Mr. Blitch, I know it doesn't like it. I mean, I still think Hall and Oates was my favorite goal song of all time, but you know what? Panama's coming in at a close second for sure for Leaf songs of all time for sure that I've heard in my time as a fan. Yeah, I mean Panama. Well, maybe it'll even go up to first after a while, guys. I mean, you know, I think Panama. You know, it's good because you can like chant to it all that. But anyway, sorry for getting off topic, guys. But anyways, move on to the next thing. And I'm gonna say the next thing I'm gonna mention is Jaron McCann. <laughs> He had a great game, by the way, guys. I just want to say, before I even get to the score, he had a great game. Unfortunately, I uh, obviously, you guys already know what happened. I already told you guys, and if you guys follow hockey, you already know what happened with him. And the Leafs got robbed in the expansion draft, obviously. They picked him in the expansion draft from the Leafs, even though he never played a game with us, and that's pretty unfortunate. Um, and, yeah, it was pretty cool to see him, though. I never seen him play. I also saw Jordan Everly, saw Bjork Strand out there. Yeah, I think I even seen him when I went to Columbus as well, which is pretty cool. So I seen him again with Seattle this time. Um, yeah, I saw a few other guys, too. I think I don't know if Burakoski was in the game, and I was right about Philip Grubauer. He actually did get the certain goal, which is, I mean, he did okay, too. I mean, yeah, he was a little iffy, too. Did give a few goals, but, you know, he, he's, he was actually okay. Especially in the third period, he was actually playing pretty good in that period. I got to give a Grubauer a little bit of credit, though. He he did what he had to do for Seattle and Net, but, I mean, overall, I mean, yeah. I mean, he, I mean, it was pretty cool to see their players, you know? Pretty cool to see Seattle, very first time. Really like the road jersey, by the way. I actually really like the road jerseys, but, yeah, the logo's cool. Yeah, overall, pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, you know, pretty good-looking jerseys for Seattle and logos, that's for sure. Uh, the other thing I want to say is that I actually did notice a couple fans as well actually, like, wearing Leafs and Seattle Kraken hats as well. Yeah, like, like there was a guy behind me wearing a Leafs hat but a Kraken jersey, and then there was a guy, like, in front of me wearing a, a Kraken hat and a Leafs jersey, which is pretty interesting, actually, if you think about it. For both teams, I mean, yeah. I mean, Seattle's not bad. I'm not saying Seattle's bad. I mean, it's not like the Habs and Leafs rivalry, obviously, or Bruins and Leafs or other teams like that. But, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah, maybe it's like a team where some people, like, they like both teams and they just want to root for both. Yeah, I mean, I maybe could see myself doing that for Vegas and Leafs, but, yeah, if it ever happens again. But, yeah, anyways, guys. Oh, yeah, there was another thing I was going to mention, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to mention this now. It's actually about... The pregame ceremony, the Hockey Fights Cancer Ceremony. Yes, I cannot forget this this time. So, yeah, the Hockey Fights Cancer pregame ceremony. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, yeah, I noticed that the Leafs were wearing the helmets. I was a little bit confused, but I'm guessing it's because, you know, I think I think I know with cancer. I think people actually do lose their hair with cancer. I actually didn't learn that. Yeah, cancer is a pretty, uh, you know, pretty terrible disease, you know. I'm hoping they can find a cure for it. I'm really hoping they can find the cure for cancer one day. But, yeah, I mean, I feel bad for everyone that's been impacted, you know. And, yeah, you know, just everyone that is fighting right now, I just want to say, you know, continue fighting, right? If you're still fighting the cancer, you know, best of luck to you guys. You know, seriously, I wish you guys luck. I'm rooting for you guys. And, yeah, you know, you know, nobody deserves cancer, right? You know, it's a terrible disease. Nobody deserves it, but... 
it's unfortunate. Some people unfortunately get it. And, you know, it is what it is. I'm trying not to make it negative, but it's just the sad truth of life. And it is what it is. But also, another thing that was cool about the ceremony, though, like, people were, like, putting, like, the lights on their phones, right? And they were, like, it looks really cool. Like, you saw those, you know, the flashlights on the phone. I didn't do it because I was filming it, obviously. So please forgive me for that. But... It looked really cool, and I'm kind of glad I did get a good shot of it. I mean, it looked pretty amazing. Like, all the flashlights, it looked so cool. It almost looked like like stars in the sky at night. And it literally actually, it pretty much lit up the arena too, actually. It pretty much gave the arena some light in the dark, which is actually pretty cool. It looked pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that. It was really nice, actually, to see that. That was, a real, that was probably my favorite part of the ceremony right there, but... Yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, Hockey Fights Cancer. It was also the 25th year anniversary. That's what's said on the scoreboard as well. They raised, like, a lot of money, too. So, it's good. You know, at least a lot of money is going to it. So, I mean, you know, it's a good cause. I mean, I mean, uh, maybe I would donate to that. But maybe, yeah, maybe I'll donate to it as well. But, you know, I mean, yeah, it's good. You know, it's better. You know, it's good to have money for cancer research, right? You know, you know, it's the right thing to do, right? I don't, and you know what, you know what was surprising? I'm surprised the Leafs didn't actually wear purple in the warmest because, because I think before for Hockey Fights Cancer Games, that the Leafs would uh, wear their uh, purple jerseys for the warm-ups for, for Hockey Fights Cancer. And even the boards would have been purple too, but they were colored still, which is kind of weird. But I don't know. I'm surprised they didn't do more purple. I mean, that's kind of a bit, I guess you could say that's a bit disappointing on the NHL's part. But I mean, they still did the ceremony, so... You know, at the end of the day, they still did the right thing. There, but yeah, you know, you know, pretty good ceremony overall. You know, it's pretty brief. It was nothing like the uh, uh, the uh, Hall of Fame game, yeah, Hall of Fame. It was nothing like that. But you know, overall, that was a pretty good ceremony as well. But you know, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, overall, you know, overall, just in general, pretty good, cool night to go. You know, uh, even the team shot was empty too. When I went there to look around, it was actually pretty empty considering. Well, it wasn't empty, but it was like less busy than usual. So at least I got some good shot shots of some of the merch for you guys. I also took the train down as well. Go train. I mean, it is still pretty busy during the week though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's not, I guess it's not as bad as Blue Jay games, but I don't know. There's still a crowd considering. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what they go. Just expect the crowd at least on my route anyways, not to say what it is, obviously, but, yeah, you know, I mean, gold trains are pretty good, I mean, I guess I can't really blame people for taking it at the end of the day, you know, it's better than driving in traffic, all that, and I even went to Union Station as well before, like, we went pretty early, and they actually have some pretty good food options there as well, I had a burger, it was called Mikey Smash Burger, it was a pretty good place, actually, I recommend it, guys, yeah, you guys saw it on the vlog as well, there's actually a lot of good food, food place i didn't even know about the most of these places in union station so yeah it was pretty good i don't know if i'll do it the next game i'll go to as well but maybe maybe i'll do it again if i take the go train down but yeah it's pretty good you know union station has a lot of good options there as well so definitely recommend that place um yeah but overall you know pretty good had a great time Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's just get into the post-game reaction. Actually, no, it's, sorry, guys. Sorry. Back, back back up a little bit. There's actually one more thing I got to mention. Just one. One more thing. Uh, it's about Jan Kroc and Giordano. Unfortunately, Mark Giordano could not. I don't think he was playing in this one. They said, I saw it on, like, the news or something, like, sports news, that he wouldn't be playing in this game, which is unfortunate. Yeah, he didn't play in the game, unfortunately. But I think Jan Kroc did. Yeah, Jan Kroc did. And, and the reason why I say that is because it's their former team, obviously. X Kraken on the Leafs. So, yeah, you know, uh, it's pretty cool to see Yarn Croak as well. Play, at least Yarn Croak playing against his former team. It's too bad that Gio couldn't be playing too because he was the former captain of them as well. But, I mean, Gio is getting older. He, I think he might retire after this year. I mean, he's like 40 years old. He'll probably be like 40, I think. But, yeah, he's pretty old. He's like, you know, just turning 40. Yeah, he's a pretty old guy, so he's probably going to retire, so... Yeah, he's probably going to retire after this year for sure because it's like his last year on his two-year contract, and then that'll probably be it. I think he made enough money for himself. But, you know, I think Gio could honestly be a good coach at retirement, in my opinion. And I know my uncle knows him pretty well as well. And even he said he might do coaching. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, he's a pretty good role model, especially when he was in Calgary. He did. I know he did a lot for that city as well. He helped the community a lot. So, he could definitely be a good mentor, mentor for children for sure. So... You know, definitely a good guy, Gio. But anyways, guys, officially, without further ado, let's just get into the post-game reaction, the actual reaction, the scoring, and how it all went there. So let me get the paper, and yeah. So, all right, so, so the scoring. So 
Let's start with the final score. So the final score of this game would just somehow, in some way, the Leafs get the win in this game, even after choking a 3-1 lead. The final score would be the Toronto Maple Leafs 4 and the Seattle Kraken 3 once again in a shootout. Yes, once again, another shootout win for me. Yes, back-to-back -back games for the Leafs went to a shootout. Even the game that my dad went to versus Florida also went to a shootout. But a 4-3 game, 4-3 win for the Leafs in, a sh in the shootout again, uh, in the shootout. Yeah, really good game. You know what I mean? A lot of scoring, you know, seven goals for both teams. I know we did, just like what I said earlier. Choked a 3-1 lead again. Man, this team cannot catch a break with leads at this point, especially in the third period. Like, it's rough. But, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, it has been pretty rough for getting regulation wins for sure. I mean, definitely. But, you know, 4-3 win. You know, it's a pretty good game. Not too bad. I mean, the goalies, both goalies, Wall and Grubauer, I mean, they did okay. I mean, they both gave up three apiece in regulation, and then overtime, both of them came up huge, especially Wall was making some big-time stops in overtime. And you got to give the Brick Wall a lot of credit. He did what he had to do, and he got the win for at least, I'm telling you. Brick Wall, man, you got to keep in the NHL full-time. He can never go to the Marlies again, I'm telling you right now. Do not ever send him down again. He is an NHL-ready player, I'll tell you now. If he's making saves like that in overtime... Joe Wall is ready. I mean, he's like the next, like, Cujo or whatever. Like, whatever the best goalie was back in the day, he's going to be that guy now. You know, like Curtis Joseph, right? Like, whoever was, like, the best goalie of all time, he's going to be like that for this generation right now. So, I mean, like, you know, Joseph Wall, got to give you a lot of credit, man. You know, Joseph Wall, great game for him. And he did amazing. You know, overall, pretty good game. I mean, yeah, it was close. It was really close. It was closer than it kind of needed to be, to be honest. We should have locked it down a little bit better in that third we were kind of giving up a lot of stuff in the third period as well, including goals. But, yeah, you know, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, a win's a win. I mean, you know, if the Leafs win, I mean, you know, it's good. I mean, it's always good when the Leafs win, right? You know, my record's now 3-1 in the year. That's goal for Meg Arena, so pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, that's really good news for me, you know. 3-1 record now in the season. And pretty good game. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get into the scoring of this game. So we will begin with the first period of play and the Leafs would end up getting the first goal in this game be by Mitch Marner and yes Mitch Marner Magic Mitch finally on the board again that would be his six on the year and the assist would be by Nylander and Austin Matthews giving the Leafs a one nothing lead also you guys know what that means free pizza and free nuggets since it was on the power play yes it was a power play goal as well for Mitch Marner the first one so we got free Popeye's chicken nuggets and obviously free slice of pizza from Pizza Pizza. Score first of the first period. Yes, sir. Second straight game with the free pizza. And this time I actually got the QR code to work. As you guys saw in the vlog, I went to Pizza Pizza and Popeye's. It's actually pretty convenient where, yeah, pretty much like where I go to get Pizza Pizza and Popeye's. They're pretty, cool. yeah, they're pretty much like right next to each other. So that's pretty convenient. Honestly, that's pretty convenient for me. To literally just like it was so easy. Like, I didn't even think about that. I'm like, oh yeah, they're like there's like two in like the same spot. Like we were literally gonna go to like one separate Popeyes, one separate pizza pizza, but it didn't make sense, right? Because I just remembered like, oh yeah, there's one with there, there's a spot where they're both at. So yeah, we did both. We basically like killed bird two birds with one stone, you know, if you guys know that saying, not trying to not trying to you know, not trying to get on birds, but it's just a saying, guys. Yeah, but you know. Pretty good. You know, I got the free pizza. The QR code finally worked for the very first time. I finally got it to work. I'm so happy for that. Man, finally, I got that to work. But really good. The pizza was pretty good. Nuggets were really good as well. But yeah, really good. Got the free food thanks to Mitch Marner. So thank you, Mitch Marner, officially the new food provider for this game. Free food provider. So got to thank Mr. Mitch Marner. You know, thanks, Magic Mitch. Got to give you some credit. And that would be the score after the first period of play, actually. Just one goal. That would be the only goal of the period. one nothing Leafs after one. You know, pretty good period, you know. Looking pretty good. You know, good start. I mean, we actually had a lot of good chances. Though. I mean, we could have easily made it 2 nothing. I think I think Nylander just missed the post. Somebody just missed the post right at the buzzer, which is... Uh, that's tough. But, I mean, you know, still one nothing. We got the lead, so pretty good start. But, anyways, guys, moving on to the second period of play. And just 21 seconds into the period, the Leafs would score again. It'd be by Mitch Marner again, his seventh on the year, second of the game. This is be by Matthews and Connor Timmins. Yes, Timmins is back in the lineup too now. 
That make it a 2 nothing game for the Leafs. Really good. Mitch Marner, 2 on the night. You know, a really good game for him so far. You know, 2 goals. Really good. We're up 2 nothing. But anyways, moving on to the next goal. It'll unfortunately be by the Seattle Kraken. And it would be by the former Leaf. The guy I keep talking about. Didn't even play with the team. Jared McCann. Yep, McCann would score. That would be his 10th on the season. And the assist would be by Bjorkstrand and Eberly. Jordan Eberly and Bjorkstrand. The other two guys I was looking forward to see. And they did some damage there with a couple assists. And I'm making a 2-1 game for Leafs. I mean, yeah, Seattle's back in the game. Now it's only a 2-1 game. Pretty unfortunate. Uh, and, yeah, Leafs got to find an answer now. And yes, yeah, so they would actually find an answer for that goal as well. Because the Leafs would end up scoring the next goal in this period. It'd be by Mitch Marner. Oh, my goodness. It's a hat trick. For Mitch Marner, it's eighth on the year, third of the game. The assist will be by Jake McCabe. And yes, a hat trick for Mitch Marner. And you know what, guys? I was actually able to throw hats this time. I, I Yeah, guys, if you know anything about me, I will not throw my hats for hat trick. I just can't do it. I mean, I was worried. I mean, that too. I mean, I got it from my uncle as well, so I cannot throw it. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys want me to throw my hats, it's just never going to happen. But my plan is for next game actually to bring a hat. Uh, my grandpa is going to bring one of his old hats next time that he doesn't wear anymore. And uh, we're going to use that. We're just going to bring it to every game until we see a hat trick that will throw it on the ice. That's the plan there. But, yeah, actually I was able to get like two other people's hats. I don't even know. Like just random people just gave me the hat to throw it. One of them was a Blue Jays hat and the other one I think was a Leafs hat. But, yeah, that was pretty cool. I got to throw hats on the ice for the very first time. I mean, it didn't actually make it to the ice, though, because I don't really have a strong throwing. I'm never, I was never good at throwing. I mean, just things in general, especially, like, in dodgeball. When I used to play dodgeball, oh, my goodness. My throwing arm was always really bad. Like, just just right. You know, I even tried, like, pitching baseballs, and it's, it didn't go well. Let's just put it that way. But, you know, hat trick for Mitch Marner. You know what? Good game for Mitch Marner. I mean, he's been struggling, but you know what? You got to give him credit in this game. You know, you got to give him credit where credit is due. Great game. Eighth on the year. Third of the game. And we're looking really good. And that would actually be the score after the second period. Play 3-1 game for the Leafs. You know, looking pretty good still. You know I mean? We're up 3-1 now. You know, yeah. Um, you know, two goal lead. You know, don't get too cocky. But, you know, got a two goal lead after two. But anyways, guys. Moving on to the third period of play. And the Kraken would get the score and start off. In this period, uh, the goal, yeah, Seattle will get the next goal in the game. It would be by Eli, I think it's Eli to Tovenin? Eva Eli Tovenin? I think that would be his sixth on the year. And the assist would be by Cartier and L Adam Larson, I think. I think that's Adam Larson. And that make it a 3-2 game for Leafs. I mean, yeah, that's pretty rough, you know. I mean, yeah, that's rough. You know, now Seattle back in the game. Another one-goal game. Now it's 3-2, and then yeah, moving on to the next goal. And it would be by, yet again, the Seattle Kraken. And yet again, second of the night for Jared McCann. I know. I'm telling you, that's why Jim McCann had a good game. He got the third star as well in the game. He did pretty good. I got to give McCann credit. I mean, it sucks, man. It's like, like, if he was a Leaf, that would have literally given us two goals right there. I mean, we literally would have had more goals if he was on the team right now. But that would be his 11th on the year. The assist would be by uh, Wenberg and Justin Schultz. And that tied the game at three a piece. And yeah. And yeah, well, actually with Justin Schultz real quick. When I saw it on the website it said Jay Schultz, so yeah, I looked at yeah, it was Justin Schultz. So I guess there's another Schultz on Seattle. I don't know who it is, but yeah, there is another Schultz on the team. And that would be the score after regulation time, three three tie, obviously. And then we would go to overtime, obviously. No goals in overtime once again. But again, you know, Joseph Wall. Did a great job in that. I mean, he made a lot of great stops. Came up at key moments. You got to give him credit. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the shootout, guys. Yep, for a second time, let's move on to the shootout. We'll start with round one of the shootout. Uh, first shot for Leafs would be by William Nylander. It'd be stopped by Grubauer. Pretty unfortunate. Then the Seattle shot. Who is that? Oh, Yam yeah, 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 Mono. We'll get the, uh, get the first chance for Seattle. That would be a save by Walt. Moving on to round two. And the Leafs shot for round two would be by Austin Matthews. And he would score, giving the Leafs the 1-0 lead in the shootout. Very good for Matthews. You know, the only other person to score in the game other than Mitch Marner. So you got to give Matthews credit there. Giving the Leafs the 1-0 lead in the shootout. And then next shot would be by Boo, Jared McCann. Yep, McCann got a shot in the shootout, obviously. And it was stopped by a wall. Really good. And then one final shot in round three would be by Mitch Marner. 
Yes, Mitch Marner, and he would end up scoring the clincher for the shootout for the Leafs, giving them a 4-3 victory and a 2-0 win in the shootout. Really clean shootout this time, you know. Missed in round one, but got two goals back-to-back -back rounds to win the game. Really good, really good shootout for the Leafs. And that was it, GG's. That would be all she wrote. 4-3 final for the Leafs. Really good game. I mean, really, really good. Honestly, got to get the Leafs credit. And yeah, I win the Florida game when my dad went. Yeah, we remember, guys, when the double tap by, uh, I think it was, yeah, Rodriguez, right? Yeah, I think it was Rodriguez. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah. So basically what happened was I think Rodriguez, like, double tapped it in there. And then the rest went to review. And then they ended up calling it no, no goal. Yeah, no goal. Yeah, that was uh, pretty rough for Florida, huh? And then the Leafs literally got the next goal, Noah Gregor and all that. And then they ended up winning the shootout there as well. But, yeah, my dad went to that game, and he actually left. He didn't even know that we won until I told him the next day. He said, oh, yeah, at least we got one point. But I'm like, Dad, we literally won. He said, wait a minute. I thought the game was over. I'm like, no, 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 you left too early. It was 2-1 for Leafs. And he's like, how did they do it? That I just told, and then I just said what I said right now to you guys. But... You know, I mean, yeah, that was pretty interesting there at the Florida game. But, you know, at least it was a nice, clean shootout, so nobody got confused this time, luckily. But, great game. 4-3 win. I know we choked the 3-1 lead, but, you know what? You got to take the W. You know, at the end of the day, if you take the W, that's a pretty good game for you. So, yeah, you know, great game for at least. Got to give them credit. You got to give them Wall and Marner a lot of credit in this game. And I also made a mistake before I wrapped this up. Made a mistake. Marner didn't actually get a natural hat trick. If you guys don't know, a natural hat trick is when a player... Scores three goals in without another team interrupting from either team. So I did make a mistake about that. So I'm sorry, guys. It's not a natural hat trick. Because because it has to be like three straight for the player. It can't be any other team interrupting for either home or away team. So I didn't realize that till after. So yeah, that's my bad, guys. Because, because, of course, Jeremy McCann. Of course, it had to be him at all, people. But, you know, overall, great game. It was great to see Martin Hatcher. got to throw a couple of hats. Pretty good game. You know, overall, pretty good. You know, enjoyed it. And, yeah, it was really good. And, actually, guys, I actually have one more thing to say before I wrap this up. And I promise this will be the last thing. I got on the scoreboard again. Yes. I got on the scoreboard again. I got on it twice, actually, in the third period. Seems like right sin 321. Seems like the camera guy always comes around, doesn't he? Yeah. Seems like he always comes around. But, yeah, I got on the scoreboard again. And I actually got a comment on one of my videos. Someone said they actually saw me, which is... Pretty cool, so I bet, like, you know, I bet, like, 20,000 people that night saw me. So, I mean, if you guys saw me, all you guys, shout out to you guys right now. Shout out, shout out to everybody there, including that guy that uh, messaged me on, uh, yeah, that left a comment on my video. But, yeah, pretty good. You know, got on the scoreboard. Yeah, that was pretty cool again. Yeah, pretty cool. Got on it once again. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I want you guys to, please, leave a like as well. Subscribe to the channel for new. Hit notifications, leave your comments down below if you guys have any thoughts on this game. Once you guys are at this game, any thoughts and feelings, guys have a show on this post game reaction video, feel free to say comments down below. I'll see you guys on there. And that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. It's a bean. It'll probably be another announcement video, so stay tuned, guys, for more announcements, as always. And that's pretty much going to do it, guys. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys next time. So go, let's go! I hope we can get some more wins. You know, hoping the Leafs will finally get a regulation win before I go back for another game. You know, I just hope we can keep playing good. You know, hoping we can keep winning. You know, I know we lost to Boston, so hoping we can rebound from that. And just hoping Joseph Wall keeps doing his thing. Hopefully, Marner will keep playing good. Hopefully, that wasn't just for the one game I went to. But, you know, hoping that the Leafs will still play well for you guys. You know, if you guys are going to any games in the future, you know, just hoping the Leafs play good. And they get some good games, get some good wins. And just nothing but good luck for the team for the rest of the season. You know, good luck to the Leafs. And, you know, best of luck to them. And, yeah, you know. Hoping they do good for the rest of the year. But anyways, guys, that's pretty good, dude. Guys, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. So, go, let's go, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.